Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Pokes to a channel or Reverb.com, wherever you might be seeing this. Hey, this is an older, older Samic made in Korea uh, 650. And, you know, people always email me. It's got some nice flame in the back of the neck. It's got a really nice neck on it. It's got a little bit, it's not huge, but it's got a little bit more meat, like medium plus or something. It feels really good. It's a great neck. It's got some flame on it. Uh, necks do affect the sound. And... Uh, but people always say to me, they say, well, you know, what's better, this guitar or this guitar? Folks, you got to, you need to take it on a guitar by guitar basis, you know, because wood's different. The way the neck is set into the guitar is different. This particular 650 is an older one. Now, I don't have the exact year in front of me. Uh, I'm going to guess in the 90s somewhere, but the neck angle is really nice on this guitar. It kind of reminds me of like a, like an older Gibson or maybe like an Ibanez uh, lawsuit or some of the Ibanez Art Star stuff. Uh, the neck angle came out really nice on this. It's kind of hard to explain how that looks and feels, but uh, this has really got a tremendous tone. <laughs> I'm using a solid state amp and I, and I have the pickup, the back treble, you know, bridge pickup down low to kind of pull out the jazz sound. But this is a pretty versatile guitar too. But this has got a little bit more weight, not super heavy, but a little bit more weight. But this is really a good sounding guitar. The binding's kind of yellow, which I love. The binding around the body's yellow. So, I mean, this has got some age on it. It's an older one and uh, really, really has a tremendous tone. <laughs> Reminds me of a sound of, of some of the L5 Gibsons I've had that, that went for thousands. And that's why I say you really need to take guitar, you know, guitars on a guitar by guitar basis. But so I've had some 650s that sound pretty good. Um, but this particular one just seems to have more of, of a depth to it. It seems to have more of a of kind of an old Gibson L5 kind of type depth. It really sounds amazing. Really, this is a lot of guitar for 599, trust me. Sure, you, you might be able to find one cheaper, but you know, most of my customers understand that, you know, that we're not talking a garage sale here. And when, if you're buying, if, if you judge buying a guitar on the cheapest price, you're not gonna get the best instrument. And um, because it's, it's, they just vary greatly. Guitars vary greatly from guitar to guitar. <laughs> I'm going to keep this particular demo short because I think my wife's taking a nap, but I'm playing through an old solid state PV. Action on this guitar is really cozy, really nice and low and cozy. And like I said, there's some flame on the back of the neck. The neck's got a little bit of meat. I wouldn't call it a big neck, but I would call it like maybe just medium plus, just enough extra meat to feel really good. I've got medium sized hands. I think it adds to the tone. Like I said, you look down when you play, you can see this flame. Not sure, it's kind of hard to show flame sometimes on a guitar, uh, but it looks really cool on the back of the neck and you can see it from both sides. That, that's a good piece of wood too. A lot of people argue with me, but I think that it adds to the tone. But yeah, this, this guitar has got uh, a lot of depth to it, a lot of great mid-range, a lot of kind of really beautiful, uh, you know, kind of Wessy sound, but it's got, it's got beautiful mid-range. It's not, it's not too tubby. It's got a really nice kind of a high end. It's a lot of guitar. Not going to get this kind of a sound from a newer guitar so it's it's the way this wood has aged and everything it's part of the reason that it has this like i said i have the back pickup uh, i have the back pickup really low here's both pickup but man this jazz sound is huge and i do mean huge sound 
So anyway, I'm gonna keep this demo short, like I said. But yeah. This guy had flat wands on it that I bought this guitar from, and I I'm not real nuts about flat wands. I actually replaced a couple of the strings, uh, took the flat wands off, so there's like two, two or three normal strings and then some flats. But uh, man, this, this guitar has got just a beautiful, beautiful mid bass and mids, and uh, it's got a lot of wood in the tone, and it really has more of a high end. <laughs> take care you know yeah it looks nice too i mean it's got some surface level scratches like any older guitar but it's the it's the this one's made in korea and it's the age that gives it that good tone and i believe too that the figured neck adds a tone people always argue with me about this but uh everything affects the tone of a guitar and that flame is really beautiful to look at but i i, I believe this the, the, the little extra like i said medium plus neck and that flame i believe that adds to the sound like I said, this guitar is not super heavy, but it's 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 not super light, and I think it adds. I've noticed some of the best large, you know, L5 depth boxes, even though this is not 17 inches, I know it's probably close, maybe I haven't measured it, I think it's around 16 and a half or something, but man, this really has a sound. <laughs> Stop there. All right. Take care, folks.